Welcome to our guide on the top 5 methods to monitor a second device remotely. Whether you're looking to keep an eye on your kids or manage your business security, we've got you covered. Let's dive in. Ever wondered how to monitor a second device remotely? Maybe you're looking to keep an eye on your kids, or perhaps you're managing a business and need to ensure security. Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into five methods to monitor a second device remotely, and some of them are surprisingly simple. Make sure you watch until the end, because method number one is one you won't want to miss. And before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Trust me, you won't want to miss the next hacks we have coming your way. Plus, if you're looking for more resources and help, check the description below or the pinned comment for all the details. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Please respect others' privacy and ensure you have the proper consent before monitoring any device. Unauthorized monitoring is illegal and unethical. All right, let's get into it with method number one. All right, let's jump into the methods. First up, let's talk about method number one, which is one of the most powerful tools available for monitoring a device remotely. If you're looking for full access to a second device, you might want to consider hiring an ethical hacker. Companies like VixPass specialize in providing services that allow you to monitor devices remotely. They offer access to call logs, text messages, photos, and a whole lot more. Basically, you can track almost anything on the device, but, and this is important, this should be used responsibly. Don't use it to invade anyone's privacy. VixPass works with professionals who ensure you can monitor your second device without breaking the law, and they provide solutions tailored to specific needs. It's important to note, though, that this service is only for legitimate reasons, like monitoring your children or securing your business. You can find the link to VixPass in the pinned comment or video description below. But remember, only use services like this for ethical purposes, and always make sure you're following the law. Next up, we've got parental control apps. These are great if you want to monitor your child's device for safety and security. Apps like Custodio or NetNanny allow you to track calls, messages, and even web activity. They're user-friendly and typically come with features like location tracking and app usage monitoring. These apps are perfect for parents who want peace of mind, but always make sure to discuss the use of such apps openly with your children to maintain trust. All right, let's move on to the next method. Method three is mobile device management, MDM. This is primarily used in business environments where multiple devices are being used by employees. Tools like JMF or AirWatch give employers the ability to remotely monitor devices, enforce security protocols, and track data usage across company-issued smartphones. MDMs allow businesses to ensure that company data is secure and that employees are using devices according to company policies. Of course, this only applies to company-owned devices, so don't use this for personal purposes. Now let's transition to our fourth method. Next, we've got cloud services with device syncing. Many cloud platforms like Google Drive or iCloud allow you to sync content across multiple devices. With this, you can easily access photos, contacts, messages, and other data from another device linked to the same account. Just keep in mind that this method is only useful if both devices are signed into the same account, and it's best for monitoring your own devices, not someone else's. Finally, we have GPS tracking apps. Apps like Life360 or Find My on iOS can be used to track a device's location remotely. These are especially helpful for parents, caregivers, or businesses looking to keep track of people or assets. These apps can give you real-time location data and some even allow you to set geofencing so you're notified when the device enters or leaves a specific area. Again, it's important to only use this method with the consent of the person whose device you're tracking. So there you have it, five methods to remotely monitor a second device. Remember, always be ethical, respect privacy, and make sure you're following all applicable laws. The tools and services we talked about today can be extremely powerful, but with great power comes great responsibility. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips and tricks. If you want more resources, check the video description or pinned comment below. And as always, 
stay safe and use technology wisely.